So yesterday was a nice day for all of us and I said something of a different level. We've been talking all the time about the mundane thing and these things sometimes are very… <coughs> what's it? It's all right. Uh, are of so much importance, we think. But when I talked to you yesterday, I hope you all realized that we have to now jump into another realm of a subtler understanding of Sahaja Yoga. First we were worried about our families, our children, our households, then our marriages, one after another all these questions came up. And we were concerned about all these things, little, little things. Then we also got concerned about the ashrams which we were having, the problems of the ashram, what we have been doing, how we have been facing the problems, how people are creating problems. That's how our humanity started, acquiring a subtler understanding. And then we also realized that we are blessed by God, that there is something great that is always looking after us, some higher force, some special attention is there about us. This is what we realized. Today I was explaining how it happens, that how we realize that God is helping us. Any problem is an effect of some sort of a cause, every problem. Like Mona wrote a letter that she was driving in a motorway and the car went out of control and the brake would not act. And there was a car coming from the right, car coming from the left, cars going in front and behind and she felt that they will be finished. Two of them were traveling to surgeries. So the cause was the car or the brake or whatever it was, mechanism, and the effect was for the problem. So now how to overcome that problem? Supposing you try to neutralize the effect, you cannot because cause is still there. You try to improve the cause, it doesn't work out. Then what do you do? So the easiest thing is to cross the cause, to ascend over, to go beyond the cause. So the cause does not exist for you, so the effect does not exist. As long as the cause exists in your attention, the effect will be. So what did she do? She just prayed to me, just thought of me, that Mother, now it's my last chance. That's all. So the cause disappeared because you go beyond it and the effect also disappeared and she was surprised. So you must ascend away from the cause. Now a problem. My wife is like this, my husband like this, my family life like this, uh, Sergio Visa like this, all kinds of things are there. It's an effect. Now what's the cause? It's such and such cause. All right. Now what, how do you get negation of the cause? Surrender. You have, you have the right to do that. You have a knack to do it. You can do it. 
you are capable of it, you are entitled to do it. But you don't need to forget. You just forget. If you surrender that cause, effects will go away. But that is the thing at that time to remember that you have to ascend, to go beyond the cause is the best way to get rid of So I've been playing with you, you had causes to say, Oh Mother, this is the problem, I have no job, no, I have a job, then the job is to be had, then the wife is not there, she must have a wife, and the wife has a problem, and she is to be divorced, and that is that, and this is that. Then I'm like that, I'm very bad because there's a bhut in me. So the bhut is the cause. And I'm behaving like this because there's a bhut in me. That's also a scale code, I think. So first you go beyond that, say, what is bhut? Who is bhut? I know my mother. And mother, you look after this bhut of mine. That's all. But for that an emergency has to come to you, otherwise you just don't need that power. When you are in an emergent condition, then it works out fast. When it is not emergency, it is half-hearted, like Mona's condition. There was another case where a journalist was travelling from, uh, I think, Lonaula or something, and his, uh, his brakes broke down and he was with another journalist. So both of them were coming. This another journalist told me. The another one was surgery. So he found his brakes are not working and he found his uh, car is going. In front there's a big truck coming up and another truck coming from behind. And there was no way for him to turn or to get out of it. And his brakes were on. That was the emergency. Such an emergency that they have not into his mind that, oh God, now the last moment has come. Now I'm finished. There's a, car, a truck coming from there and another truck and within a split of a second he was to be finished. Then he just closed his eyes and he told his friend, think of mother. That's all. And then what he found? That he was nicely crawling on the road and the trucks were left behind and the brake was good. But that emergency has to come. Human beings are such that unless and until they are put into tight corners, they never do that. Once they are in a tight corner, then they do it. That is the reason why people try to take ascetic life. Because if you are an ascetic, then you are in a tight corner. They go to Gobi Desert to create that emergency within you. So then you think of God. You get that. But that's too late to go to Gobi Desert. They create problems for them to get into tight corners so that they can get out of it. But for Sajogi, if they are wise, they need not have. But how do we achieve it otherwise without any getting tired? Only way is meditation. Everybody must meditate is the point. If you do not meditate, you can continue for a while. You may be all right for a while, for two, two months, maybe two years, but then you drop. Many people think, oh, what's the need to meditate, to see it's all right. If we don't meditate, it doesn't matter, it's not true. Because in meditate only, meditation only you grow. In emergency you suddenly grow, no doubt. I mean, you just, like a jack in the box, just come up with a spring. But if you have to have a continuous growth, then you must meditate, allow the thought after thoughts coming and then allow them to subside because you rise into the state of thoughtless awareness and in that thoughtless awareness you grow. And you grow in your detachment to the cause of all the effects. 
If there is no cause, there is no effect. But this is the problem with us, is that we do not meditate normally. Only when it comes to absolute last point, now you have to fall in the well, then we think of it. Maybe at that moment you are helped, but you don't grow. Growth can only come if you meditate. That is one very important part, is complete help to people who meditate. In the normal life, how do we grow? If we have no oxygen, we cannot grow. We have to have sufficient oxygen, we have to have sufficient food, we have to have all these things. But in spirituality you grow through meditation. There is no way out. Those who think they can grow are bumptious, actually bumptious people. Because they can talk a lot about surgery. I've seen people who talk too much about surgery. They can give big lectures, this, that, but have no vibrations at all. They can't do any work for surgery. They are not collecting, they have no sense to be collecting. All kinds of problems. But the growth is to be achieved through meditation. 